And a lot of sports networks, I see that they're like staying away from the topic because it, it's a it's a lightning bolt to get into it to try to figure out why he was there. And a lot of a couple of them are already got in trouble. Like, um, what's uh, the main NFL Adam, guy? It was Adam Schefter, I believe. Yeah, Adam Schefter yeah, put out a tweet. He put a yeah he put out a tweet that referenced him having some horrible years or tough years in in Washington, and he caught a lot of heat for it. Deleted it quickly. And people thought in the light of the tragedy, it was really inappropriate to bring up, you know, kind of his lack of success at the NFL level. Um, it didn't hit me that badly of something to say. I mean, that's kind of just the narrative of anybody that knows him as a sporting guy. I mean, you're not you're not no, hiding anything. No, you, you, you're not. But it's also been some people that, sh that, that get in trouble for actually trying to figure out, OK, why was he, you know, you know, why was he out there the way he was? And I'm going to play a quick video which will show you the most updated news on the situation. So so here we go. So check this out here. Yeah. Investigators trying to figure out why Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Dwayne Haskins was walking on this interstate when cops say a dump truck struck and killed him. Happened over the weekend in South Florida. Our NBC affiliate there spoke to a man who says he believes he saw Haskins trying to cross the interstate just minutes before the crash. He says cars swerved out of the way as Haskins drifted into oncoming traffic. And after seeing that, the man says he called 911 immediately. I said this individual uh, is going to have a major accident if uh, you don't get to him. It's just very disturbing. I just didn't understand the situation. His arms were a little bit uh, moving. Like uh, It might have been like he's waving. Haskins' death reverberating through the sports world. The former star quarterback at Ohio State was 24 years old. CNBC Shamari Stone live outside the Washington Commander Stadium where Haskins played two seasons. Shamari, good evening. Damn, camera, I meant my, uh, <laughs> my, finger, my finger going crazy over here, man. I haven't had nothing to drink today or nothing, man. It's, but um, It's not like you. <laughs> But yeah, man. So it's a, it's a, so it's a crazy uh, a crazy situation, right? So this is my thing. A, a couple of things. So there is it's five or six in the morning, and Dwayne Haskins is out on a highway. Yeah, all right? he's out on a highway, and he's working out with his with his people. Well, yeah. He, I mean, he's supposedly in South Florida working out with Steeler teammates, getting ready for the season. Yeah. Um. So you kind of figure he's you know uh, among among friends. And uh, yeah, my first reaction, and again, bear in mind, I'm a personal injury attorney, but I, I find it very difficult to get hit by a car. And so when I first heard this, I'm like, how the hell do you get hit by a car? At that point, I had no idea what roadway he was on or what the situation was, or he was in the parking lot of a gas station or who knows. But then when I heard he was on a highway, it made less sense. It's like, you know, what the hell's going on? And... Part of you hopes that it was just like a genuine accident and he wasn't, you know, doing anything stupid that like maybe some drunk driver is. I mean, it's tragic no matter what. But, you know, you, you kind of construction. Hope, yeah, it was a dump truck. Oh. But like when you first hear the story, he's hit by a car. Well, you're thinking, well, hopefully maybe he was just on the shoulder mm. and somebody was drunk or fell asleep at the no, wheel no, and hit him. But I know that. But that was my first thought. Yeah. Then more information comes out and you're kind of like, what the, you know. What the fuck? What, what does it sound like to you, Jason? Because I'm going to tell you what it sounds like to me. I don't know. <laughs> and that's the perfect... When you don't know, you don't know. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, first of all, the man is on a highway and there's nothing wrong with his car. Right? That's the first thing. Yeah. yeah. You got to think about it. This is a highway. Right. You park your car on the side of the highway when there's nothing wrong with it. You're full of gas. Mm -hmm. Your tire's good. And you decide to get out of the car and not walk straight like you're trying to go to the next exit or like you're trying to run and you're trying to work out. You decide to cross sideways. Think about that on the highway, right? And with your hands up, you know what I'm saying? In a peculiar way, you heard the driver. That's the eyewitness. Mm. 
now and we know Dwayne Haskins has a history and and, and it is what it is that's why it, we had a podcast we could talk about this stuff I understand yeah. ESPN can't talk about it but we could talk about it <laughs> he has a history of partying hard that's why Washington mm-hmm. gave up on him because he was in the strip club like every week he was like a he was a James Harden without the James Harden stats mm-hmm. you can't you can't say nothing to James because he you know he's for the most part MVPs oh, scoring you, titles you, you, now you, it's coming you, you're gonna be saying something to James when he shits your team out no, of the now it's, in a now, it's, weeks. now it's coming but literally, you know, Dwayne Haskins weren't he wasn't on that level. He was a rookie and a second year player yeah. who, who was struggling at, at that. Yeah. So I think he was somebody gave him a bad batch. Yeah. Uh, somebody gave him a bad batch. Yeah. This is what it is, man. No, somebody I, gave him a bad batch of, of whatever he was on. I, I I agree with you hundred percent. Based on what the what the witness is saying, based on the circumstances that we're we're now learning, unfortunately, that you know, his death echoes the failures of his career in that you know he was too focused on the bullshit and you know couldn't impact on the field and here he you know puts himself in a stupid position and it cost him his life i mean it's tragic but you know you got to eat some blame on that you know you know somebody who ever had a bad batch jay had a bad trip yeah um yeah, somebody I grew up with, man. They they not the same now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like when I see them, I I try to avoid. I do avoid them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not it's not them anymore. It's like like dang, what you know? It had to be something along that nature. You know, let the hood tell it. Yeah. But I yeah. I, that stuff would it'll do you in. <laughs> it, it, it will, <laughs> man. No, no, nah, nah, unfortunately it really will, man. I think and I think that's what happened here. And I don't even know, like, you know, it's a it's a dump truck slash semi truck, you know you know what that is, going at whatever, sixty miles, seventy miles an hour. I don't know if mm-hmm. it's much left to even do a tox toxology report, whatever you call it. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That wrong, but I don't even know if it's enough to where they can even do that or run that to really to really see. Yeah, no, but that, also you got CTE. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? There are, there are other situations. You know what I'm saying that could be, a, you know, that could arise. You got CTE. You it know? just don't make. Yeah, it just don't make sense to me. It just doesn't make sense to me. So I'm, I'm waiting to see how how I play up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out yeah, yeah. Well, you, you you can't wrap your head around somebody with their normal faculties putting themselves in that position on a highway. That that just doesn't make sense. Yeah, Stranger Things, man. Yeah, Stranger Things, man. I, I you know, so we, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that, how that, how that play out. Uh, once again, man, you're on the bench, on the bench podcast with Bubba and Paint. We got.